on ABC. Welcome back, everyone. I'm News 10's Christina Orangio. Time to check in with Chief Meteorologist Steve Caparizzo for this morning's Pet Connection Extra. Steve. Thank you, Christina. There are times when your pet will have a serious life-threatening cut or injury. This is scary, but you have to remember what you do on the way to your veterinarian could ultimately save their life. The first thing to realize is it's an emergency and you can literally save your dog or cat's life by intervening even on your way to your family veterinarian. Very first thing we do is take a towel and just apply direct pressure. If it soaks through, don't remove it. Put something else on top of it. You can be creative. You can use a sanitary napkin, a gauze, a handkerchief. Now, why don't you want to remove it? Because the body's mechanism for healing is on that interface between the towel and the body, and you can break clots loose by taking that off. So it's off. starting all over again if you take it off. Yeah, maybe not starting all over again completely, but you're definitely doing more harm than good. Second way that we control bleeding, if this doesn't work, is by elevating that limb. Now, on a short-legged dog, elevating it two inches isn't going to do much. And on Daisy, um, it might. If we were out here on the paw and we got Daisy to lay down and held that limb up above the heart, we can let gravity help us to slow the bleeding. Let's say that this is a pretty substantial bleeder and it isn't stopping and it's a spurter. The next thing we do is to apply digital pressure to the artery, to that leg. And in the front leg, it's right in the armpit and you can put your fingers here and actually feel the pulse. And you can do that on a, on a hind, hind leg. leg in the groin, on the inside of the thigh. Same thing, you just reach up high and the last one is on the tail, under the tail. Thanks, Dr. Ed. As a last resort on the way to your veterinarian, applying a tourniquet is very dangerous. But if there is no other way of saving a limb or the life of your pet, it would be an extreme measure to take. Back to you, Christina. All right.